Hi, I'm Jim Bennett from AAA Metal Suppliers, and for the next few minutes, I'll show you how easy it is to install your own do-it-yourself stainless handrail balustrade. The first step is to set out the position of your main corners and to attach them to the deck. If you're attaching to a timber deck with a timber subframe, you can use suitable stainless screws, naturally after pre-drilling. You should remember that stainless screws are softer than normal screws, so be careful not to chew out the head of the screw. If you are mounting your base plates onto a concrete deck, then you can use diner bolts or similar anchor bolts and finish with a cover plate over the base plate. Place your corner base plates in the required position. Next, mark where you will need to drill your pilot holes. Remove the base plate and drill the pilot holes. I like to also pre-screw the fasteners at this point as it makes it easier to do a final attachment of the base plates later. Finally, screw down the base plates in position. Using either a string line, a chalk line, or a straight edge, draw a reference line that will help you position your intermediate posts. Set out the desired spacings of your intermediate posts and mark where the attachment holes need to be. Just like your corner base plates, they need to be pre-drilled. Drill the pilot holes, pre-screw the hole, and then attach the base plates for the intermediate post. To make things easier for getting the correct handrail lengths, I now put on the dummy posts and position the handrail fittings. Measure from the handrail fitting shoulder and make a note as to what lengths are required. Next, cut the handrail tube to the desired lengths using either a metal cutting saw or a drop saw with an abrasive blade. After cutting the required lengths and filing the burrs off, polish out the burn marks using a 3M scourer or similar. Never use steel wool as this will contaminate the stainless and cause discoloration later on. Do a trial fit of the handrail and make any final adjustments if necessary. Use a narrow point permanent marker to mark the position of the intermediate handrail post fittings and where they rest on the handrail. Remove the handrail and drill the respective holes for attaching the various rail and post support fittings. Next, place the main corner and end anchor posts onto the base plates and check that you have the correct orientation using the spare left and right hand terminal studs. Having done this, reattach the respective handrail tube to all the post fittings. The final steps are those of attaching the wires to the anchor posts, having fed them through the intermediate posts. Do not over tighten the wires at this stage, rather use them as a guide to check if the wires are coming off square to the corner posts and exiting the intermediate posts correctly. One of the last steps is to centre punch and drill the holes for the small stainless steel pop rivets to lock the posts into their respective bases. Having done this, you may then attach the grommets and do any final wire tensioning. Your handrail should now be ready for cleaning and giving the wires a final coat of wax to help prevent dirt from becoming lodged in the twists. If you need any more information, or I can be of any more help, please feel free to contact me on jim at aaametalsuppliers.com.au or call AAA Metal Suppliers for all your stainless wire and balustrade requirements.